Hola clase. This is lesson 12 of Spanish 1A, first semester beginning level Spanish. And the story today is the guy who likes science fiction movies. It's about a guy who loves science fiction movies and loves aliens, but his science teacher tells him aliens don't exist. Ah, Nate, le gustan mucho las películas de ciencia ficción. Nate se sienta en la clase de ciencias. El profesor les dice a los estudiantes, Los extraterrestres no existen. Nate no está contento. Nate va al cine y ve la película Invasión de los extraterrestres feos. A Nate le gusta la película mucho. Después va a su casa y se sienta en su cuarto. Un extraterrestre entra por la ventana. Nate grita, ¡Ah! El extraterrestre le dice, ¿Qué tal? Nate le dice, ¿De dónde eres? El extraterrestre le dice, Soy de Marte. Nate le dice, ¿Amigos? El extraterrestre le dice, Sí, sí. Nate está muy contento. At the end of today's lesson, you're going to be able to understand everything I just said, plus read it, write it, and say it. Let's look at the objectives. First, I'm gonna teach you a new set of vocab. We're gonna use the vocab to learn the story about Nate. Then there's gonna be a question and answer practice in Spanish. You're going to lee y traduce, read and translate, and then check with me to see how well you understood it. La gramática de hoy is another set of los números. We're doing 20 through 29. And then el quiz on the vocab and grammar to see how well you understood it. So, Grab your workbook and let's get started. We are in Jalen Waltman's Complete Spanish Course 1A, First Semester Beginning Spanish Workbook. Spanish 1A Lesson 12, it looks like this. New vocab list. Le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción. This means he or she likes science fiction movies or films. Literally what it says is the films or movies of science fiction are pleasing to or please him or her. This lay is referring to a him or a her. In the story it's going to be a he. El profesor de ciencias dice los extraterrestres no existen. The science teacher says in English we probably wouldn't say the aliens don't exist we are just gonna say aliens don't exist but in Spanish to leave off the los sounds weird it's incorrect Nate va al cine Nate you know va what does it mean goes to the movies or movie theater or cinema. Cine is related to the word cinema. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? This is a phrase that we usually translate into English as what's up? Or How's it going? Tal literally means such. So what you're literally what you're literally saying is what such? De donde eres? De donde eres? Where are you from? Let's break this down. Eres means you are. It goes with two. If you see eres, you don't even have to say two because er eres can only be two. De donde means of where. So literally, of where are you? Soy de Marte. Soy de Marte? I'm from Mars. Literally, I'm of Mars. There's an understood yo. Soy can only be yo, so you don't have to say yo. So we're going to translate soy as I am. 
¿De dónde es usted? Where are you from? Formal. This is if you're talking to an usted. ¿De dónde es usted? Look at the differences. Up here I have eres. Eres goes with tú. Es is the form of ser that goes with usted. So, ¿de dónde es usted? I cannot say, ¿de dónde eres usted? ¿De dónde es usted? ¿De dónde es? Where is he or she from? So, if I wanted to say, ¿de dónde es Nate? Where's Nate from? There's a, you would put a name here. So the he or she is not in this sentence. <laughs> es de, he or she is from. Someplace. Okay, let's write and draw. Le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción. He likes science fiction movies. Here's the movie, science fiction. So let's do a planet, some craters, and let's do, I don't know, a, uh, a UFO. <laughs> He's rubbing his hands together because he likes it and you can make him a beanbag. Okay, so that's going to be Le Gustan, Las Películas de Ciencia Ficción. El profesor de ciencias dice, los extraterrestres no existen. Let's put the science teacher right here in the middle. Do some hair, some glasses, a nose. He's talking. Here's his tie. Pointer. Let's see, I'm doing my do an alien. Here's some students. No existen. We'll draw an X to this. El profesor de ciencias dice los extraterrestres. No existen. They don't exist. Nate va al cine. Nate goes to the movies. Here's Nate. His feet are going this way. Put a name in there. Try to do a movie poster here. There's another movie poster. K Tal, what's up? Let's put K Tal here. ¿Qué tal? ¿De dónde eres? Where are you from? Let's put that here. Stick figure guy, question arms. Stick figure girl.
This is supposed to be a globe. Where are you from in the world? So this one's going to be que tal? This one is de donde eres? Soy de Marte. Mars. Um, ooh. Doesn't it have like craters and I don't know, <laughs> a river? <laughs> oh, this doesn't look like Mars. Okay, <laughs> Soy de Marte is going to be this one. I'm from Mars. De donde es usted? Putting that down here. It's gonna be the same guy with the question arms talking about Earth. <laughs> See if I can do it better. <laughs> oh, my Earth is terrible. Okay, he is speaking to guess who? This one is going to be, apparently his legs need to be a little bit longer. Okay, this one's going to be, De donde es usted? De donde es, where is he or she from? Let's see, here's the new girl at school. With her backpack. And one guy talking to another guy. planet is getting worse. Okay, he's asking him, de donde es ella? We'll just put an ella in there. Where's she from? De donde es ella? So, de donde es usted? De donde eres? And de donde es ella? Three different ways of asking that question. Es de, so this guy is going to be answering. And let's draw a state that's easily recognizable. Oklahoma. <laughs> All right. Okay, so he's got the scoop. He knows where she's from. So this guy's asking down here, de donde es ella? And up here he's answering Este Oklahoma. We're gonna cover up these words so that we can learn the vocab. Point to the picture you think I'm saying. Le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción. Le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción. That's here. Le gustan, he's liking, las películas, the movies, de ciencia ficción. El profesor de ciencias dice, los extraterrestres no existen. El profesor de ciencias dice, los extraterrestres no existen. That's here. El profesor de ciencias dice, los extraterrestres no existen. Nate va al cine. Nate va al cine. 
that's here. Nate is going to the cine, the cinema, the movies. De donde eres? De donde eres? De donde eres? This one. Where are you from? Talking to a two person, a person that you don't have to be formal with. De donde es usted? De donde es usted? That's here. Where are you from? Usted, the formal, the señora. Soy de Marte. Soy de Marte. That's here. I'm from Mars. De donde es ella? De donde es ella? Where is she from? This picture. Es de Oklahoma. Es de Oklahoma. She's from Oklahoma. Muy bien. Try to stay ahead of the green arrow. El profesor de ciencias dice los extraterrestres no existen. Soy de Marte. ¿De dónde es usted? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde es ella? Nate va al cine. ¿Qué tal? Es de Oklahoma. ¿Qué tal? El profesor de ciencias dice los extraterrestres no existen. Soy de Marte. Nate va al cine. Le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción. ¿De dónde es usted? Es de Oklahoma. ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde es usted? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde es ella? ¿De dónde es usted? ¿De dónde es ella? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde es ella? ¿De dónde es usted? Soy de Marte. Es de Oklahoma. Nate va al cine. ¿Le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción? ¿Qué tal? El profesor de ciencias dice los extraterrestres no existen. ¿Qué tal? ¿Le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción? Nate va al cine. 
es de Oklahoma. Soy de Marte. ¿De dónde es ella? ¿De dónde es usted? ¿De dónde eres? Okay, muy bien. Let's write the words under the pictures. This one is, she's from Oklahoma. Es de Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma, not a Spanish word. That's a Native American word of some sort. Where are you from, informal? Upside down question mark. De donde accent mark on this O. It is. He likes science fiction films. Le gustan las películas. Películas, it has an accent mark on this I in the middle. De Ciencia Ficción Accent mark on this O Le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción I'm from Mars Soy de Marte The science teacher says aliens don't exist El profesor de ciencias dice los extraterrestres extraterrestrials no existen What's up? Upside down exclamation point. K. Accent mark on the E. Tal. Que tal? Nate goes to the movies. How do you say goes? Va al cine. Al means to the. Where are you from, senora? Upside down question mark. De donde. Donde has an accent mark on this O. Es usted. De donde es usted. And then last one. Where is she from? Upside down question mark. De donde. Accent mark on the O. S. I'm going to leave off the A, yeah, actually. I'm going to do this because this is how it is in the vocab list. De donde es whoever. I, un muchacho. El muchacho se llama Nate. A Nate le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción. Le gustan mucho las películas de extraterrestres. Nate va al cine y ve la película Invasión de los extraterrestres feos. A Nate le gusta la película mucho. Nate se sienta en su clase de ciencias. El profesor, el señor Scruffy Hair, les dice a los estudiantes, Los extraterrestres no existen. Nate no está contento. Nate se sienta en su cuarto. Un extraterrestre entra por la ventana. El extraterrestre es muy bajo y verde y tiene ojos muy grandes. Nate grita, ¡Ah! El extraterrestre le dice, ¿Qué tal? Nate le pregunta, ¿De dónde eres? El extraterrestre le dice, Soy de Marte. ¿De dónde eres tú? Nate le dice, Soy de Oklahoma. ¿Cómo te llamas? El extraterrestre le dice, 
Me llamo Binko. ¿Cómo te llamas tú? Nate le dice, Me llamo Nate. El extraterrestre le dice, Amigos, Nate le dice, Sí, sí. El siguiente día, Nate y Binko van a Norman High School. Nate busca al profesor de ciencias, el señor Scruffy Hair. Nate le dice al profesor, Hola, señor Scruffy Hair. Mire, un extraterrestre. Se llama Binko. Es de Marte. El señor Scruffy Hair toca a Binko con un dedo. Binko no dice nada. El señor Scruffy Hair le dice a Nate, Nate, estás loco. Los extraterrestres no existen. Binko le dice, ¿Qué tal? El señor Scruffy Hair grita, ¡Ah! Y corre. Nate y Binko se ríen mucho y están muy contentos. Fin. Let's write the story. El cuento del chico que le gustan las películas has an accent mark on this eye de ciencia ficción el cuento del chico que le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción accent mark on that o this one is Nate goes to the movies he likes science fiction films how do you say Nate goes to the movies Nate va al cine y he watches or he sees. Do you remember that verb? It's like, sort of like he views. Ve una película de ciencia. Nate va al cine y ve una película de ciencia ficción. Nate goes to science class and his science teacher says aliens don't exist. El profesor How do I say of science? And in Spanish you're going to say of sciences. El profesor de ciencias le dice, says to him, I could just say dice if he's just saying it in general, but since Nate is sitting right there, let's go ahead and say, le dice, los, how do you say aliens? Extraterrestrials. It's hard to say. Los extra terrestres no and then what was this verb no existen they don't exist so plural things that don't exist so I need an N on the on existen Nate's in his room when an alien comes in through the window let's say Nate sits in his room it's two words do you remember how to say it say and then what's the other word Sienta en su cuarto, in his quarters. An alien comes in through the window. Un extraterrestre, how do I say he enters? Entra, por, por means through here. La Ventana. You can remember a ventana for window because it's a vent for the room. It's a vent where air comes in. Nate asks, where are you from? Well, actually, I guess the alien speaks first. So the alien says, what's up? <laughs> and Nate is surprised, of course, and says, where are you from? El extraterrestre. Lady say. ¿Qué tal? 
accent mark on the E. Nate asks, where are you from? Nate, how do I say asks? It starts with a P. Nate le pregunta, upside down question mark, de, donde, donde has an accent mark on this O, eres, de donde eres, where are you from? The alien says, I'm from Mars, want to be friends? Let's go ahead and put his name in here just to make it shorter, bingo. Lady say Soy de Marte. Amigos? Nate says yes. Nate, lady say. Actually, let's make him excited. <laughs> upside down exclamation point C accent mark on the I like that Nate takes Binko to science class and shows him to the teacher he's from Mars the teacher thinks it's a toy let's say Nate says to Mr. Scruffy hair he's from Mars Nate ladies say al professor Es de Marte. I guess this would be a <laughs> exclamation. The teacher touches him with his finger and then decides no extraterrestrials no existen. Let's say he touches him with his finger and Binko doesn't say anything. El profesor, do you want to say touches? It's toca. Al Binko con un dedo. Dedo means finger. Kind of like digit. Calling these digits. Un dedo. Pero. But Binko. He doesn't say anything. No dice nada. Mr. Scruffy Hair says, you're crazy, Nate. El profesor. Ladies say, you're crazy. Estás. Now, I know this is talking to two because it ends in an S. Estás loco, Nate. Binko dice que tal, and Mr. Scruffy Hair runs, and Nate is happy. Binko, ladies say. Que tal? Y el señor Scruffy Hair, how do you say runs? Corre. <laughs> we'll stop there. Preguntas. ¿Cómo se llama el muchacho? ¿Cómo se llama clase? Se llama... Nate. ¿Cómo es el muchacho? What's he like? Nate es fanático. Fanatico has an accent mark on this A. De las películas de ciencia ficción. Número tres. ¿Dónde está el muchacho? Where is he? He is in different places. Let's talk about him being at home. Está... Let's say he's in his room. 
en su cuarto. Because that's where the fun begins. Número cuatro. ¿Quién habla con el muchacho en su casa? Who talks with the guy in his house? Binko habla con Nate. Binko talks with Nate. Número cinco. ¿De dónde es Binko? Where is Binko from? Binko es de Marte. Número seis. ¿Qué le dice Binko? What does Binko say when he first gets there? His favorite phrase? K, and then what's the other word? Tal, what's up? Número siete. ¿Está contento el muchacho con su profesor de ciencias? Is the guy happy with his science teacher? Not really. No. No está. Accent mark on the A. Contento. Número ocho. ¿Por qué? El profesor dice que he says that los extraterrestres No existen. Número nueve. ¿Qué le dice el muchacho a su profesor? What does the guy say to his teacher? He says, look, he's from Mars. Mira. Mira means, hey, look. Es de Marte. But Mr. Scruffy Hair is still an unbeliever. Número 10. ¿Está el muchacho contento al final? Oh, yeah. Sí. Está, accent mark on the A, contento. Número 11. ¿Por qué? Why is he happy? <laughs> Because Mr. Scruffy Hair got told. Porque el señor Scruffy Hair corre. Ran away. Número 12. ¿Quién es su personaje favorito? In el cuento. Gosh, it's such a tough choice. You can say whoever you want. Mi personaje favorito es Nate because he kept up the faith. Lee y traduce. Read this story and write the English translation under the Spanish line by line. This version is from the point of view of Binko. So the name of it is Me llamo Binko, which means my name is Binko. It's all from his point of view. Hi, my name is Binko. I'm from Mars. You're going to translate this line by line and then we will check it. You can abbreviate names. Binko can be B. Marte can be M. Nanu can be N, space burger, can be SB. Go ahead and pause the video and translate the story. Go. Okay, we're back. Let's see how you did. Hi, my name is Binko. I'm from Mars. I'm looking for a girl, an alien girl, on the internet. I go to Chicas de Mars. By the way, voy means I go. I go to girlsfrommars.com. Escribo, I write an anuncio personal. What is that? A personal ad or a personal announcement? What's up? <laughs> I want to meet a girl, an alien girl, who is pretty, short, green, verde, it means green, 
and intelligent. Okay, let's talk about this a. Eh. It means and like e does, but there's a rule in Spanish that if the word after e starts with an i and it ha starts with the e sound, e, uh, e inteligente, in Spanish sounds weird. It's kind of like a apple in English. You know how we have a and an? They have e and a. So E in front of this letter I, E, E, inteligente. Soy bajo, I'm short, intelligent. Gracioso, gracioso means funny or amusing. Y muy guapo. He also claims he's very, what, handsome. Me gustan las películas de ciencia ficción y el ajedrez. I like movies of science fiction and Chess. Do you remember this word from last lesson? Chess. Como eres? Escríbeme pronto. How are you? In other words, what are you like? Write to me soon. An alien girl writes to me. What's up? My name is Nanu. I am green. Oh, sorry. I am short, green, and very, very pretty. I like Italian food and chess. I want to meet you at Space Burger tomorrow at 1. The following day, siguiente is related to sequence, by the way, in English. So it's the next day in the sequence. El siguiente día, the following day or the next day, I go to Space Burger. Nanu comes in. She enters in Space Burger. There's a problem. What's the problem? Nanu es muy fea. Fea means ugly. She says to me, what's up? What's your name? How do you call yourself, literally? I say, yo le digo, I digo is I say to her, uh, Mike. He gives her a fake name. Hasta luego. <laughs> See you later. Until later. Corro, with this O, I know it means I run. I run to my house very fast. I go to Chicas Bonitas de Mars, prettygirlsofmars.com, and I write another, otro here is gonna mean another personal ad. The end. La gramática, numbers 20 to 29 in Spanish. In Spanish, it is correct to use the same numerals as we do, these numerals that we use, etc. but those numerals have different names in Spanish from their names in English. Write the Spanish words for each number. 20 in Spanish is 20. Make sure you have 20, E-I, not, not this. This would be viente, as far as I know, that's not a word in Spanish. 20. 21. Veintiuno. Veintiuno. There is such a thing as 20 y e uno, but in general, you're gonna see it like this, 20 uno with the I. 22, 20, 22. 22 has an accent mark on this O. 23, 23. 23 has an accent mark on this E. These two accent marks are forcing you to emphasize the final syllable because as you know, the automatic emphasis in Spanish is on the second to last syllable. 24, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26. Seis has this accent mark on this E. 27, 20, and do you remember how to say seven? Siete, 20, siete. 28, how do you say eight? Ocho. 
28. In 29, what do you think it'll be? 29. C. Si. Okay, let's write the correct way to say each phrase below. 20 little girls. Just practicing writing these words again. 20. Little girls, it starts with an N, what is it? Niñas. Tilde on the N. 20 niñas. Numero dos, 26 monkeys. Let's challenge ourselves, actually. Let's cover these up. Let's see if you can do this. All right, 26, what is it? Got my veinte, but in seven E, what's the letter? E. <laughs> and then six, seis. What does veinte seis need? It needs something on it. Accent mark where? On this E. Monkeys, what's that word? It starts with an M. Monos, 26 monos. Numero tres, 23 fish. Okay, we're gonna have 20. How do you say three? Tres. This word also needs something on it. Tres. It's making you emphasize that final syllable. Fish, if it's plural, instead of pez, I need peces with a C. Numero cuatro, 22 boys. Two, dos. This one also needs what? Accent mark, dos. Boys, chicos. Mete dos chicos. Numero cinco, 29 dogs. Veinte, nueve. Nueve, does it need an accent mark? No. Veinte nueve perros. Numero seis, 21 elephants. Veinte un elefantes. Veinte un has an accent mark on this U. Let me explain what just happened. If 21 is used as an adjective in front of a masculine noun, it shortens from uno to un, veinte un, instead of veinte uno elefantes or veinte unos elefantes, it shortens to veinte un and it gets an accent mark on this U. Don't stress too much about that right now. We're just practicing the numbers. So the word that I really want you to remember is veinte uno. There is also veinte una. If this were a feminine noun like chicas, then I would say veinte una chicas. And it's just because un changes to match, you know, the thing that comes after it. So anyway, let's move on. Numero siete, 25 little girls. Veinte, how do you say five? Cinco. Little little girls again. Niñas. Tilde on the end. Numero ocho, 28 bears. How do I say 28? Veinte, ocho. And do you remember bears? Osos. Numero nueve, 24 cats. Veinte cuatro. Cats, how do you say it? It starts with a G. Gatos. Numero diez, 27 cars. Veinte siete. And then cars, the word that we learned because that's the one that's in the textbook that I aligned my stuff with. Carros, there is also coches. Remember this? Okay, muy bien. Practica, random numbers. Write the random numeral in the box and the Spanish name of it below. First, we're just gonna write the numbers. You write the numeral for the number you think I'm saying in Spanish. Here, write 20. 20. You should have this. 
This one is going to be 23. 23. Okay. This one is going to be 25. 25. You should have this. Okay, here, 28. 28. You should have this. Here, 21. 21. You should have that. Here, give me 26. 26. You should have that. This one, 24. 24. You should have that. Here, 22. 22. 22 should have that. 27. 27. 27, you should have this. And here, 29. 29. Okay, try to stay ahead of me. Write the number before I show you what it is. Here, 22. Should have that. 20. You should have that. 29. Should have that. 21. Should have that. 26. Okay, you should have that. 28. You should have this. 24. Veinte tres. Veinte siete. Veinte cinco. Veinte uno. Veinte cinco. Veinte siete. Veinte cuatro. Veinte seis. Okay, muy bien. Let's write the names of the numbers. We're just going to do the top two lines. This number is, what is it? You say it. Veinte. Okay, this number is, what is it? Veinte tres. Accent mark on the E. What's this one? Veinte cinco. Okay, what's this one? Veinte ocho. Okay, this one, say it. Veinte uno. Okay, what about this? Veintiséis. Accent mark on the E. Okay, what about this? Veinticuatro. Okay, how do you say this one? Veinti. 
dos. And it has an accent mark on the O. What is that? Veintisiete. And then what's this? Veinti nueve. Muy bien. El quiz. ¿Qué día es hoy? Hoy es viernes. We are very glad it's Friday. Viernes. ¿Qué fecha es hoy? Es el 20 de marzo. You have 10 phrases to match up. Pause the video, take the quiz, go. Okay, we're back. Let's grade it. Numero uno. Le gustan las películas de ciencia ficción. Numero uno. Letra D. Numero dos. El profesor de ciencias dice. Numero dos. Letra I. Numero tres. Los extraterrestres no existen. Numero tres. Letra A. Numero cuatro. Va al cine. Numero cuatro, letra C. Numero cinco, ¿qué tal? Numero cinco, letra E. Numero seis, ¿de dónde eres? Numero seis, F. Informal. Eres, that goes with two. Numero siete, soy de Marte. Numero siete, letra H. Número ocho, ¿de dónde es usted? Número ocho, ¿de dónde es usted? J, letra J. Número nueve, ¿de dónde es? Número nueve, letra G. Número diez, es de, this is the answer to number nine, letra B. ¿Todo correcto, clase? Si tienes todo correcto, dibuja un 100%. Muy bien. Lesson 12 Grammar Quiz. I want to apologize to anybody who bought an early version of this workbook where I had this for the Lesson 12 Quiz. <laughs> I have since corrected it to this. All right, you're going to match up these numerals with their Spanish names. Put the letter in the blank. Pause the video. Go. Okay, we're back. Let's grade it. 20 is letra G. Letra G. 21, letra E. 22, letra A. 23, letra F. 24, letra H. 25, letra B. 26, letra I. 27, letra C. 28, letra J. And 29, letra D. ¿Todo correcto, clase? Si tienes todo correcto, Escribe un 100%. Muy bien. Bonus material that's optional, but of course, it's great practice, so I encourage you to do it. You're going to tell this story, either saying it out loud or writing it. I started it for you here. It does not have to be perfectly correct. Just focus on communicating the message because it's the practice that counts. And I will see you in the next lesson. Muy bien, clase. You finished lesson 12 of Spanish 1A, first semester beginning level Spanish. If you still need to get my workbook, the link is in the description box below. And until next time, hasta pronto, classic.